Welcome back guys, keeping it real on Tucker Hill here with Ronnie. We're gonna go uh, check on the ducks and uh, check on the baby quail that we hatched out. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about it into the when we get over there, but we had to end up moving the ducks. The big chicken being a butthead and he uh, kind of tore up on the female uh, duck a little bit so her head's a little bit messed up but she's okay we'll go uh check it out it's it's kind of raining out here so we're not gonna stay out too long hopefully uh we can get everything done and and all that without having to go out there and too long but stay with us Thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Don't forget that. Thank you. Here you guys go. Notice something that's not in this pen today. It's kind of raining out here, guys, so I'm not going to be out here long. But our ducks, we had to move way over there with the pigs. And the goats because that big old rooster in there decided he was going to beat up our female duck messed her head up a little bit she's okay she's gonna live but it messed her head up a little bit Rex here heel Good boy. Hey. Let's see if we can find them out here. What are the old pigs? Old bacon right there. That's pork chop. Sally. We ain't got a name for that one yet. Or that one. There's ducks right over here. I'm trying to zoom in on her head. Right at the back of her head, he beat her up pretty good. She's okay though. It was raining real bad yesterday and they couldn't get out nowhere and they stayed right inside that pen together. And I don't think they liked it too much. Okay guys, here's the new babies we just hatched out. We ended up getting four out of five eggs. We're starting to get more eggs now. But right now we've got four babies. They're pretty good and healthy. We'll continue watching them grow. See how they turn out. Stick with us. They're Caternix quail, what they call pharaoh. Come on over here, little guy, come to the light. That one's looking a little, a little small, but his mama and daddy not too big either, so. Here's the other eggs we got in the incubator right now. Got a flat of chicken eggs. Almost a flat of paternix quail eggs. And that one right there is our Bob White quail that we had hatch out the other, or had the other day. We got about four more in the house. And then there's our Paternix quail eggs that should be coming pretty quick. I think lockdown is the sixth on these little guys. And then it should be just a day or two after that. And we 
probably will be seeing some. But see inside, and we got two right down here that should be in another day or two, hopefully, if they ain't bad eggs. But this is my homemade incubator out of a deep freeze. Showed it to you guys on a video last time. There's the temperature control. Of course, it's not at temp yet because we uh, had the door open. But these old deep freezes work pretty good for incubators. I don't think I've showed my watering system yet. It's a five gallon bucket. We got a couple of pieces here. It was leaking a little bit, so we put some silicone around it. Made sure they were not leaking at all. But it's just a little T that you can slide these pieces of hose up on. You can get that at Royal King. That's where we got them at. And we got this PVC pipe down here. Just made like a, uh, I forget what they call them, manifold, I guess. And then the little chicken waterers right there. Can't really see that, but little chicken waterers right there. They got a threaded end on them. You just thread them right into there, into that manifold. As you can see at the back there, there's the water hose coming down, goes all along the back. And then here's the other side, the other manifold. And then right there is the other water. Chickens peck that little, that little yellow thing right there. Sorry about all the movement, but. Let's see if we can get in here where I can see something. Good Lord. Yeah, see, they just peck that right there and water comes out. It's pretty cool. It saves you having to fill up water every day. 